Now picture this. We moved into the mansion. There was a storm shelter in the backyard dug into the ground with a dome over it mm -hmm. that you could go in, jump into the storm shelter in case of a tornado. And I asked the security one day, I said, what's, what's out there? And they said, oh, we don't know. There's a lock on the storm shelter, so if there is a storm, you got you got to have a lock. I said, well, how do I get in there if there's a storm? Where's the key? And they said, we have no idea. There was a storm shelter on the mansion grounds yeah. with a lock on it, and nobody knew where the key was. And I said, well, cut the dang lock, <laughs> and let's look in it. Now, just think of all the governors that served as governor, yeah. and on the backyard was this dome. We opened it, and it was full of water. It had snakes swimming in the water. There were frogs in there. Yeah. There were varmints of all kinds. I said, fill that Hummer up. Get rid of that storm shelter. <laughs> okay, so they did. Well, then we said, this is the governor's. This is the people's mansion. Yeah. So we decided that we would do a little bit of remodeling, and, and we did. Then we opened it up once a week for the public. And we, it's amazing, the first day we opened the mansion for the public, Don and I stood in the first year, we stood in the receiving line and shook hands. But the first day, it went all the way down the, the line, went all down to the library, down the sidewalk, over into the parking lot by the Capitol. The line, there were thousands yeah. of people who came to look at the governor's mansion. Mm -hmm. So we redesigned some of the areas so that they could go, and we, we had a deal where they could go actually into our bedroom. We, we had volunteers who were tour guides. Mm -hmm. And they went into the bedrooms, they went into our children's bedrooms. They, well, not only was the storm shelter full of water, there was a basement in the mansion. And I went down to the basement and it had two feet of water in the basement of the mansion. And I said, dig, and I got criticized because I spent public money yeah. digging the walls deeper down the side of the mansion, deeper into the ground and, and hard surfacing it all. And it's a TV room now. Yeah. And but but can you why would you have a in the governor's mansion, why would you have a <laughs> a sunken <laughs> Right. Uh, it, it's just amazing. But anyway, uh, what, what was interesting is that the public loved being able to come and see mm -hmm. the mansion. And uh, that was Donna's idea, yeah. another one of her ideas. And it, now to tell you how you have to be careful, okay? Donna and I, we were also worried about physical problems that people had. Mm -hmm. Well, the man mansion had stairways in every entrance to the kitchen, to the back door, to the side door, to the front door. You had steps, no railing. Yeah. I said, put up railing. And over where the open house, then the main, people don't realize this, but the mansion was built so that the door facing the Capitol to the west is the main entrance. But people drive in in the driveway and come in yeah. a side door. But if you're coming in to tour the mansion, you come in down a long sidewalk from the area that faces the state capitol, and you climb up steps. And so I went to the capitol people that were in charge of it, and I said, build a ramp so that handicapped people can walk into the mansion. Well, I was attacked in the legislature for, dis for messing up the original state capitol. And I said, well, we need the handicapped person with a cane or with crutches or in a wheelchair has every right to come into the mansion as someone with two good feet. Yeah. So they built the ramp. I took the criticism, 
Well, I'll never forget the day that we opened it for the first time, the ramp, and we had that long line of people. There was a young lady, and she was shaking Donna's hand, and she said, I didn't know you had a ramp. She said, my mother is sitting in the car parked in the parking lot. I'm going to go get her in her wheelchair. Can I bring her into the mansion? And I said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And she went out and got her mother and wheeled her mother up the ramp into the mansion. And let me tell you, now, that's not why I ran for governor. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, she cried. The woman in the wheelchair cried mm -hmm. when she came into the mansion yeah. because that ramp had been built and she could do what anybody else could do. She could go into the governor's public house.